Hey everybody, it's another fine day here in the QC. I'm glad to see it. I hope everyone is well today as always. Able to get out and about to get the juices flowing. As I love to say, as I'm doing. Getting some exercise, fresh air. I would say sunshine, but I just heard a big rumble. And it's starting to sprinkle. At least getting some fresh air. And hopefully where you are, you're getting some sunshine. And exercise, as I already said. But I did have a thought I wanted to share, as always. And it is. With purpose or amiss. How are you praying? With purpose or amiss. How are you praying? Of course, I get this thought from my word of the day, which is a miss and purpose. <clears throat> and a miss means, in my own words, something that's not quite right or done according to, or done not according to purpose. Purpose is something that's set aside in order. Or you can call it simply order. And I got this thought also I had a script to come with it. The script was you have not because you ask not and when you ask you ask amiss and as I was coming around the track and as I like to say pondering that thought I began to think back to when I first started to getting to know the most high for myself personally and like I said to getting to know him not just knowing of him and talking to him and praying to him when I was in trouble but when I really started seeking his face like he downloaded me with a whole host of dreams and visions and this is when I was in Columbia, Maryland leaving D.C. and um, not too long after that quick testimony <clears throat> I was running off a road I've been running off the road for like five years. And as my testimony goes, I was selling dope in the same place I got caught. So when the opportunity came, I ran off to DC and was trying to make a go at it there, but figured I needed to clean up my past before I could go forward. But to clean up my past, before I can go forward in my future. So I called my parole officer and told her I wanted to turn myself in. She asked me to hold on for like 10, 15 minutes. And right at the point where I was about ready to hang up the phone, she comes back on and says, um, Mr. Holloway, are you sitting down? I said, yeah, and basically saying, I'm gonna be standing up 15 minutes waiting on you. Which I didn't say that, but I said yes, ma'am, being polite as I always am. She was like, well, seeing we haven't seen you getting in, into any other trouble, we're gonna go and dismiss them charges. Or dismiss your parole. 
I said, okay. <laughs> so now, this, does this mean I don't have to pay that remain, remaining balance? She says, sir, we're gonna dis dismiss it all. Just don't come back in North Carolina and get into any other trouble. Especially surrounding drugs. I said, no problem, thank you, ma'am. She said, I always like to throw this in there, but it has no real meaning to me no more. But she said, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And back then, I definitely took it as a present. But now I know it was the hand of the Most High. Seeing that I really had changed and really wanted to move forward with my life. And like I said, shortly after that, he, used to, he just downloaded me with dreams and visions. And see, when that happens, we think we're to go forth right then and there. So I'm like, let's do it. And when that happened, my dreams, I mean my prayers, started to become a miss. Because it wasn't for that season them dreams and visions. They were for a set time. And now I'm learning, I'm walking in them in that time almost 30 years later. 25 for sure. But I use that example because a lot of times the most high would show us something or we'll see a text in the, we'll see a verse in the text and we want that promise. So we claim it for ourselves, and he's actually telling us that's not for you or not for this time. not to pray amiss if you want to look at it that way but that's a very important important thought today because praying amiss can really affect your faith it can have you being mad at the most high for years because you think he's not answering your prayers either you're mad at him or you you done lost faith in him because you're like well you said ask and it shall be given but see one of the most important things to ask yourself when you have a prayer is this according to the most high's will because in my notes I put um that you need to make sure you're asking with the right motives. And yes, it says in the word, all the promises of the Most High in Yahushua are yes and amen. But see, those are promises made by him through Yahushua, which means it has to line up with the perfect will of the Most High through Yahushua HaMashiach and his purpose for coming and his purpose for your life. See, all this has to line up. And that's why I say keep pushing forward in the right direction every day. Shalom. But I put them notes in there, and I think it'll help a lot of us that are or have been mad at the Most High because you haven't had your prayers answered, or you're just simply asking for the wrong reasons. All right, I love y'all as always. Stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.